Well, it's always good to have you on the show. Glad to be here. Today we're going to talk about chainsaw safety. How important is that? It's extremely important if you have the need to cut wood. Okay. And we're in the season for cutting firewood. Yes. A lot of people are going to be going to Lowe's or Home Depot or their local <laughs> hardware store and they're going to buy a chainsaw possibly and cut firewood. And you said something earlier that I must repeat. Okay. Chainsaws don't come with directions, right? Not, not good directions. Not good directions. <laughs> it's, it says pull the cord and start. Oh gosh. Yeah. Need a little bit more than that. Need a lot more than that. Okay. Well, can you get us started then? I can. All right. Uh, here on the table here, I've got a variety of different chainsaws, two older models, and the and the importance of abandoning the use of the older models okay. because of the lack of safety apparatus on it, and um, and they're so heavy. They're here definitely heavy. It's an old. And these saws do run, by the way. This is an old Sears okay. Poland model. What you have here is no chain break. So in the event that this would kick backwards, and I'll explain that, it's, you don't have any way of stopping this chain and it could cut you oh, wow. okay. if it's used improperly. Right. Same with this little guy. This is a 1975 model still, but we don't use these anymore. Again, no chain break. This okay. one here has, has actually almost cut me before. I used it, I was using it properly, but I was getting tired. Ah. And I recognized the fact that I was getting tired, so I turned it off and I put it back in the truck. And like you mentioned before, these are heavy. They are extremely yeah, heavy. heavy. But okay. I used these for years. You know, I was a professional tree climber for most of my sure. career. So swinging through the trees with a chainsaw was my job. Wow, my goodness. I never, I never got cut, so bad. <laughs> Thankfully, but, right? Yeah. All right. And it's, you gotta keep them sharp too. Okay. Okay, you'll see this one here is it's more like a, a newer version of these. But here, you have a chain break. See, if you, it kicked back. Gotcha, okay. And there's one thing about this chainsaw, it's not really meant to be used this way. This is the way that you properly hold this chainsaw. Hmm. Okay, break off, right. okay. break on. Gotcha. And you'll notice that this has a sleeve on it. That's not only to protect you, or yeah, but it's to help protect these teeth on this chain because you want a good sharp chainsaw. Okay. Cutting with a dull, it's just like when they, your grandpa teaches you about using a knife. He says you want a sharp knife because <laughs> a dull knife will cut you quicker than a sharp knife because you got to put more force into your cutting. Okay, makes it sense. It can kind of be the same way with a, with a chainsaw. Okay. Okay, again, here is a more of a homeowner model. so. The, your homeowners, you know, like the, the young man that bought a new home, you know, he's got some acreage and he wants to cut some trees down to get some clearance. Okay, so that's a little ideal overgrown, for so this would be ideal for that. Right. Again, chain break and so on. This one here, we're stepping up a little bit. Yeah, that's a this big one. This, this has some high, yeah. a lot of power right here. Right, I bet you. All right, this is not a typical homeowner saw. Okay. It's heavy and it's meant to work and it's meant to work <laughs> all day. Okay. okay, I like that, it's meant to work. So what about the size trees for each one of the chainsaws? Oh yeah, yeah. this would be Probably more for, you know, this is what a 24 inch bar. Okay. This is uh, like a 16 inch bar, 12 inch, 12 inch, and 16. Okay. So obviously you, you're with a 12 inch bar or 14 inch bar, it's gonna be more for a tree like this size here. Yeah. Now, if you don't always have to use the chainsaw, so I always keep a variety of different cool. saws. Uh -huh. This is for the professional. <laughs> I have cut plenty of trees down with this handsaw. So you don't always have to have a chainsaw to do your job. And then yeah. for pruning, you got larger, coarser teeth on this handsaw, finer teeth for fine pruning, and then all the way down to. I got to have those, right? Don't leave home without them. Yes. Don't leave home without them. Hey, a good master gardener always carries a that's right. good pair of pruners. That's right. Got to have that. Make sure they're sharp too, right? That's right. All right. So, so any other safety items that safety. we need to talk about? Yes. Okay. This helmet here comes equipped equipped with a face shield, ear muffs. Nice. Remember, these chainsaws are loud, and if you're running it for a long period of time, by the end of the day, your ears are probably going to be ringing. Yeah. Man. So this is an option. This is an option for hearing protection. These are basic uh, expandable yeah. earplugs. You just wad them up, stick, put them in your ears, and, and um, it helps. 
I've had plenty of these types of earmuffs. I keep breaking them. And, you know, carrying a lot of tools in the okay. truck. Gotcha. You know. Or these right here, if you lose them, it's two dollars. Oh, okay. Okay. Good investment. Yep. And this this hard right. hat here, and back up. And these are all rated for you know by ANSI standards, American National Sanders Institute. Okay. And, and they have to be tested, tried, and proven to be used in the field of tree care. Gotcha. This one here is made out of Kevlar. This is the same material that the uh, firefighters' helmets are made out of. Okay. Because this is actually a brush firefighter's helmet. Okay. I'll, I usually always have my, my hard hat. Always with me. have the hard hat. Yes. Along with that, I mentioned the face shield. This is one of my grandchildren's sock. <laughs> it worked perfect <laughs> it okay. for my safety glasses. Ah. These are clear. And on the real sunny days, I have some darker ones. So if, if I'm looking up a lot, um, the sun's not going to gotcha. blaze my eyes. Okay. I will mention this. When you're working outside, it's important to have your safety glasses, okay. especially if you're looking up in the trees a lot. And this is, this is information for maybe a professional tree climber. Your eyes can get sunburned. My eyes are permanently sunburned wow. okay. from the, just from looking up looking for so up. many years. Oh, I've trained tree climbers and you know, rigging and looking up a lot. Okay, wow. So, Didn't realize that. So okay. I, I, I can, and these, they're, they're wrapped up because if you, you leave them in your truck, you leave them on your shelf, then they're gonna get scratched. Okay. The, these, you notice, are a different color. Yeah. So these kind of, you can see on a cloudy day, but it still reflects the sun from your eyes. Okay. So, wow, and yeah. they look good on you, Wes. Yeah. Good. Uh, about that? Yeah. <laughs> Gotta have something to make me look good. <laughs> so now we're gonna get to the first aid kit, right? Yep. You got almost, to almost to the first aid almost. kit. Almost, okay. Almost All to right. the first one aid kit. One of the more important. One more. Right. I got a chart that, that will t tell you. I didn't make the chart, but it lists the numbers of accidents annually with professionals, okay. the number of fatalities with professionals, and it also lists the number of homeowners uh, accidents and fatalities as, as, as well. Okay. It, that's information that's put out by the Safety Institute. Okay. But the, the, the two number, uh, number one places that uh, people get cut with chainsaws is on the thighs ah, I can see that. and in the shoulder. Okay. Or the, yeah, thighs and the shoulder. Okay. This ah. is to protect your legs in the event that you're running this chainsaw. Now it's got buckles that go all the way around. Right, I see. And if we were to cut a tree today, I'd make sure that I got all my safety apparatus on. Okay. So they're cutting and the chainsaw goes across the leg just like so. Or they're one handing, drops in right. just the leg. So. Ah, okay. So chaps. This is also made of a material yeah. similar to Kevlar, and sometimes it is Kevlar, but when that chain gets caught up in here, the, the fibers get pulled out and it wraps up inside the sprocket of the chainsaw and, and shuts it off so it doesn't cut anymore. Okay, got Instead it. of steadily running, got it. It, it just pulls this apart. Now, once it does that, you gotta toss these and buy another pair. Okay. But compare a $70 pair of chaps to your leg. <sighs> no comparison, yeah. All right, two final things. Is, uh, one is to keep a, a cell phone handy. Say like if you do twist an ankle or something while you're running a chainsaw, you can make pick up the phone and call somebody right. and say, hey, I need a tractor. Right. You know, or I'm out in the field. Right. Water. Gotta have a little water, stay hydrated. Gotta stay hydrated. Right. You gotta remember, you're working hard. You're uh, not keeping up with what time it is and mm -hmm. how long you've been doing it. And you go home and your back hurts and you wanna drink some water. <laughs> but the more water you drink, the better you'll be. This should be your friend. Mm -hmm. Everybody should have a first aid kit in their vehicle, truck, home wherever. But this, you know, I mentioned the ANSI standards. Okay. This is rated by ANSI. So we have band-aids all the way up to stop bleed kit in here. So okay. if you have to immediately put something on that wound, you want to have a, a, a bleed kit handy. Well, uh, yeah, definitely need to have that on site. Yes, because right? rem remember, this is a very dangerous piece <laughs> of equipment. Most dangerous hand tool sold on the market. Well, Wes, we appreciate that good information about yep. chainsaw safety. Thank Absolutely. you. Absolutely. I think it's the needed information. Oh, yes, very much needed. So thank you much. Yes. Thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, please click the subscribe button below.